Hi, this is Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today, it's been a year since I bought this welcome mat from Ikea, and I know it's been a year because I got my craft room. It's, all, it's an Ikea kitchen, basically, that um, I have all my stuff, and so I did it a year ago. So I know this project has been in my craft room for a year. <laughs> so let's try this. So you know, as I do all my stuff, I'm kind of doing it for the first time. Most of the stuff I'm doing for the first time, unless it's um, an order that I've done many times or something like that. Um, so we're gonna try to do this. I've done my research. I think I wanna do freezer paper and this is what I have. So I went and bought, I've never even had freezer paper in my kitchen. So this is the freezer paper that I bought. I tried to do it where my, um, um, whatever I'm doing is going to fit on a 12 by 24. So that way everything's on one piece of paper. I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to put it down. So let's see. So as you know, with stencils, it's sometimes, um, I always forget because I do, I also do stencils for glitter tattoos for my daughter and her friends. And sure enough, um, I will always weed the wrong part at least once that day. So just remember we're weeding where we want the paint to go. I'm gonna use acrylic paint. Now, my doormat is a little bit different and I've also read that these doormats don't last long, maybe about six months, which is okay. I mean, if you buy your, um, your mat from Ikea, for instance, and you can change it with the seasons or whatever it is, um, I think it's okay. Mine is not in the sun, it's covered by a porch. And so I did not buy outdoor acrylic paint. I just bought regular acrylic paint and I'm gonna use that. So, you know, I think it's, it's gonna depend on your circumstance, whether or not, how long you want it to last and um, all of that. So the mat that I have right now, I've had it because again, it's covered on the porch. Um, I had it from the time we bought our house. It was a housewarming gift. So it's, that was in 2011, it's 2020. <laughs> so it's lasted a long time. Um, so I think this will last a long time, but I will update you. So, so far, so you can see, I've already weeded out that part. Um, now I really wanted to use um, the transfer paper from Dollar Tree but I have been going for months now and they have not restocked that. So I'm down to my last 12 by 12 by 12 piece of it. So I'm gonna show you what it would be like. Half of this is gonna be um, the Dollar Tree transfer paper and then the other half is gonna be Cricut. So um, I know it's gonna be sticky and I'm probably gonna lose my mind, but that's what we have and that's what we do, right? We use what we have on hand. So i um, trying to think what else I have here. I have my heat press ready to go because we're gonna heat this down um, onto the mat in a second. Um, oh, I did wanna show you something, which is why my table is so full of stuff. Give me just one second to pull this last piece out and then I will show you my mistake, <laughs> which I love to do because they're all learning opportunities. Rather, I make the mistake than you make the mistake. All right, be right back. I'm gonna toss this out. Okay, so earlier I had tried to cut this and do you see it? So first of all, my mat is Welcome to the shit show. And this is the first part of the shit show. It did not cut well. This mat was not that sticky. And I chose to use this mat because I was worried that the freezer paper was gonna be so um, delicate. And so I didn't want a super sticky mat. I love my 12 by 24 mats. Um, but because it wasn't sticky, it didn't cut and it started to lift. So that's what happens when you don't have a really good sticky mat for this project I mean. Okay, so you see this is what I have. This is what is going down. So I have my first 12 by 12. This is from the Dollar Tree. I love this stuff. It doesn't, oh, actually it's not. Oh no, it is from the Dollar Tree. Um, so I'm gonna use it. 
on this half, and then on this half, I have the Cricut transfer tape. So I'm gonna de-stick this a little bit. I'm gonna put it all over me and try to get it to be like not as sticky, right? <laughs> Let me do it a few times. Um, put it on my jeans. Okay. That was not intentional, but let's see if I can get it off. Okay, so we're gonna put it down and I wanna be able to transfer this. At first I wasn't gonna use transfer paper because I've seen people do it different ways, but I didn't wanna lose my, my little letters in between and uh, I did pick a little, you know, fancy script, so I was a little bit worried about how this was gonna work. So, all right, so here we go. We're lifting this up. just bought freezer paper for the first time. Uh, this is definitely my first time using freezer paper, so I don't really know what to expect. I'm kind of going slow. I do know it's, you know, on the delicate side. You want to cut, you want to put it down, um, shiny side down, so I didn't mirror it, as you can see, and then I'm going to put it shiny side down so that I can, oh, that didn't go up. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to lift this the inside of the O up and put it down. Apparently, top and bottom. All right. None of it inside. Well, I didn't burnish it either, so maybe that's the problem. But it's okay. I mean, I am going slowly, but I, I don't feel like I'm being super careful. So it is not that bad. And we don't want to rip anything because the paint will, you know, when we go to paint it, it will go underneath it. So just want to be a little careful there. So it doesn't look like any of my inside pieces, like of the H, like the loop on top, the O, all of those inside stayed on the mat, so we will pin that down.
Okay, so let's do that. So, that looks good. And let's see if we can now peel this off. This should be interesting. Okay, so here's my sticky cricket. And, oh, I'm not ironing it down yet because I heard that while the heat does help it stick, it's not amazing. So as soon as you start to, um, if this bends at all or you want to reposition it, it's no longer sticking that well. So that's why I'm not bothering to like heat this down to keep it down because I don't think it will stay down. So, so I have seen people do it without the transfer tape, um, but the freezer paper is like super curled up. So I almost feel like because, I don't know if I want to deal with that, that's all. That's all I'm saying. And I'm actually going to reuse this for my next nap. And I will also, I plan on recording that so we can see if that helps um, this process at all. And then we can see if the other transfer paper is better. So I do like that this isn't so rolled up because I've seen that in other ones and I didn't want to deal with that at all. So. And the sticky part is almost over. So hopefully when I get to my Dollar Tree transfer paper, this will be much easier and faster. We'll see. Because as you can see, I mean, this freezer paper is not bad. That's a good thing. <laughs> I'll put it down right there. Okay, so. Yeah, I will say the contact paper from the Dollar Tree um, is easier. So you saw that this on the second half, I pulled it much faster for sure. Okay, almost there. I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 I'm going